allow I present removers specially designed for hub end caps or if you prefer adapters, Junior Hub Genie 7058. Tool and its packaging are very simple and minimalistic, but as you can see, you don't need anything more. On the cardboard you will find its model number, size and on the other side explanation of how it works. If you find this movie useful, I will be grateful for leaving a like and subscription, it helps a lot in developing the channel. Genie comes in two sizes, smaller one for hubs with 12 and 15mm axles and larger 20mm for hubs nowadays used probably only in downhill. Junior is made of two parts, first is a handle with thread and second is a spacer element inserted into the end cap. Its build is very similar to the blind hole bearing puller with the difference that this one don't have lip on the end that would press against the adapter. Here tip just expands inside end cap and that is enough because they are not pressed as tightly as the bearings in hub body. But I was tired to deal with them anyway and also scratched them so many times that I decided to spend those 30 euro to solve this problem once and for all. Of course, instead of Junior, you can use pillars wrapped in something soft, vice or just the axle itself. Gini works in a very simple way, just insert it into the half so that it rests in end cap, absolutely not on the body. Tighten it firmly, you can also use a flat 11mm wrench if you want to be sure that it holds well, then just pull strongly the handle and that's it. Hub Genie is useful mostly for front hubs such as DT350 or cheaper Novatex, which have two parts adapters that are pressed firmly into the hub shell. In case of rear hubs with internal axle such as DT240 or this Industry 9, you will be rather able to remove them with your own hands. Unless they are stuck due to lack of proper service and lubrication, then of course you can use it also. Genie, like other tools from Junior, and I already had a few of them, you can find links to their reviews in the upper right corner and in the description, is very well made, I didn't have any problems with it, and I'm satisfied with how it works. Therefore, if you plan to service the hubs by yourself, especially DT350, I can honestly recommend it. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. 
See ya.